Would eating turkey be advisable? No. <laughs> turkey is always surprisingly hard to conquer. They, they always get quite a few divisions in the field. So whereas having Turkish industry and Turkish chromium would be nice, we have Greece, so we don't really need the chromium, and going up against that many extra divisions, not worth it. Even going after Iran is questionable. But the, the front against the Soviets is not moving. All of this time, Soviet industry will be growing. Uh, we're not making any moves against America. All of this time, American industry will be growing. Like, we are in a race against time now. The longer we wait to do anything, the stronger they get. So right now, my intention is to see if I can knock India out of the war. Because I suspect that a bunch of these troops are going to be Indian. And that is the end of the Air Doctrines. Finished. Get me modern... Fighters. And then close air support, then tactical bombers. Then naval bombers. Then maybe strategic bombers and we'll start bombing the living daylights out of Britain. Okay, we are now producing lots and lots and lots of stuff, so let's go and increase our military factory production over here. Let's go and make you level 8. Time for the Italian industry to really ramp up. I feel like we've got enough naval production. Once we get the three 1940 battleships out... I will feel much more confident about where we are. Also, our um, submarine fleet is growing. We're losing far fewer of them. Oops, that's not what I meant. Convoy raiding. In fact... I wonder if it's time to start trying to hunt some American convoys. I think it is. Time to move the theatre of war. Also, do you have any promotions I can give you? Yeah, I thought you might. Um, we're going to take... Lancer. You can only get Torpedo Expo if you have Silent Hunter. Interesting. Loading Drill and Concealment Expert. So my submarines should now be pretty effective. Should have done that a while ago, actually. Uh, surface Fleet. Can you get any promotions? No, you've already got yours. Okay. Escorts? No, not really. Recon shouldn't have any experience particularly, though concealment for you would be useful. So with that. Mine layers. How are we doing for mining? We have laid 179 mines. So, yeah. Actually, the mine layings come on pretty well. Let's also set up some mines over there. And we have two more light cruisers available if we need them. Soviets are launching another heavy attack because the Germans finally pushed out a bit. I'm going to say that you guys are trained up enough. We have enough medium tanks for another two divisions. We have a surplus of artillery, we have a surplus of guns, we don't have a surplus of motorized still and support equipment, both of which are quite bad. Yeah, Saudi Arabia does not have a lot of oil at all. Four. Compared to Iran, 60... That's 54. 60, 70. 
And Romania's 62. Libya's 16. So most of the oil is actually Iranian. So taking Iran out would be pretty significant. Formazione. Si, signore. All right, so the British are having the same problem that we are. We are really effective at beating them back. We just can't push back ourselves. So this really is a lack of breakthrough. So tanks, we just need to mass produce more tanks. Which will also mean more motorized. So I think we're actually going to do that and then that. And we should also begin justifying war goals against Iran. Take 15 days, not too shabby. How's the production of my battleships coming? They will be done April, May 43, so two more years. Alright. Don't forget Azerbaijan, the Baku oil fields, nom nom from the Soviets. Yeah, that's true. If we're able to push up fast enough that we can surprise the Soviets, that would be a pretty significant gain. Unfortunately, I don't really see us doing that. I have a feeling that Iran is going to become one giant stalemate. And I'm going to be responsible for holding on to it. It's okay, like, I can hold territory, I just can't take it. Like, if I need to shift these uh, garrison units up there, I will. Okay, um, submarine models, special forces, where's the marines? Marines is there, so I need the carrier models. Modern battle fleets will be centered on aircraft carriers, not battleships. The supremacy of air power over ships was demonstrated by the Americans back in 1921. Artillery upgrade is almost finished. Uh, that needs to be industry, though. We need more production efficiency. Here we go. I was right to shift. We're catching a lot of convoys out here which are not ex escorted. How many does Britain have? About 700. In America? About 600. Okay, so they don't have a huge number of convoys. So if we can just cut America off and keep them out of this war, that could work favors in our favor. So, I'm going to make you the last of those ships, and we're going to double down on our submarine production. Because we are pretty good at submarine warfare. Alright, the Soviet line has really lit up. This looks like the... yeah, both sides, actually. Alright, modern artillery. We can hold off there. Doctrines are still going. We really need to get... Ah, oh, this is a 40... No, 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 no. That's December. 42. That still has another 40 days. So almost immediately we can go to the 1942 research. I'm going to hold off until January. Meanwhile, we have air forces over there. Now Germany's going to start really taking losses. They're doing a lot of damage to the Soviets, though. Crikey. I know I said I was going to save, but I want that too much. More than decryption. Alright, here goes. Go. And make it aggressive. Iran has joined the Allies, as we suspected they would.
failing to push up here, but the tanks at least are pushing. For the moment. Question is whether we can get to Tehran and then there just take as much land as possible. If we can hold the Soviets in the northern mountains, I'm okay with that. We do have enough medium tanks for another medium tank division. Let's make that happen. And we are taking factories straight away. Um, we're still very short and motorized. And I would really, really like to start building some more tank divisions. Because it's becoming increasingly apparent we need them. Pushing well until we hit the mountains. I mean, so far, as long as we can keep them on low organization and keep the momentum up, we'll be fine. The problem is keeping that momentum up. So let's shift you lot over there. So we're not eating up my supply. Saying that Alexandria needs to be upgraded. That can be arranged. Let's upgrade the ports. Oh boy! Okay, so somebody has been bombing Tuscany. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some fighters. My fighters are so old. That would be a better location for you. Except I can't move you while you are still deploying. Can't go after Crete or Malta without Marines. Not effectively, anyway. Ordini. Submarines are still doing good, catching at least a couple of enemy convoys and ships out here, which would be a lot of their trade. Ah, American submarines have arrived and are promptly sinking. Thankfully, we're pretty good at catching those subs. Okay. I mean, the more submarine, the more American submarines we can sink in the Mediterranean, the less the Japanese need to deal with, which is a pretty big deal. And I also want to add some heavy bombers if I have any. Uh, heavy fighters, even. I do. Not a lot, but hey, it'll do. You're purely on interception. Just in case they are trying to strap bomb me. Pronto, signore. The Tibetan Empire has capitulated. The Tibetan Empire. Ambitious. Oh yeah, Japan's actually making some pretty nice moves against China right now. That's very good. And the Soviet war is really hot, uh, heated up. And this is Germany doing a lot of attacks. Meanwhile, Americans have landed in Bordeaux. So... 
Um. Commanding. I frankly do not trust the Germans to hold on to these territories. So I will help you. Not that bothered about Norway, though. Mantenete le distanze. Pronto all'azione. Ordini. Pronto all'azione. Stopping us outside of Tehran, that's not good. How's the tank production? Not great. Still sinking convoys though, which is good. I should also say that you are on low engagement risk and you may split off to repair. By all means. Did that last destroyer ever get finished? No, because we have ships repairing. That's fine. Oh, success. Pushing through. Ordini. Okay, we are now threatening India. This means that you have a new job. It's quite a simple one. Hold the Indian front! Fallen. About halfway. <clears throat> Bit early for D Day, no? Well, it could frankly happen at any point. And I do not trust the AI to hold their coastlines particularly competently. So I will send my own units to go and help reinforce. In fact, if I have a large surplus of regular guns, which I don't really, I would build another bunch of garrison units and just set up a second garrison general. Okay, the assault on Tehran has begun. Here's the new fighters. Now I would like new... attack bombers. This is an important fight. Boom. We took it. As long as you get there in time, and you did. Yes! <laughs> this is a big deal. Benito Mussolini has announced the cowardly Iranian nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Italian forces. This is a really big deal. Alright, so... I'm going to... Pronto all'azione. Attento. 
open up a new front against the Soviets down here and down here. Which you are going to push. I'm going to get the tanks up here. And I want you bloody well force marching because if we can take the Caucasus from the Soviets that means bye bye Soviet oil. Uh, except for you lot. You lot are down here already. And the more that we can take off the Indian mountains, the better. So it looks like Indian troops are already arriving. But they are probably removing troops from Africa to defend India. So we'll need to keep an eye on that. Uh, no, research speed. 1942. couple of Soviet units here. Where exactly are the oil fields there? Um, right. You have new orders. Get those oil fields! And I also need to sort out the supply situation. Let's make that a level 3. Make that a level 3. We'll begin with just those two. We can always upgrade more later. We are also going to need to worry about resistance to occupation in Iran. Uh, guns, 24,000. Perfect. I would like another bunch of these guys. Let's make another full 24. Oh no, has Mexico joined the Allies? I was going to say, did Mexico just join us? Because that would be pretty cool. Commandi. These guys are railroading, with the exception of three guys. Interesting. Attento. Formazione. Soviet units are starting to arrive, but this should also be pulling a lot of Soviet forces away from the border. Ordini. Are you guys able to make any... No, I don't think you'd be able to make a move. Damn, the Soviets responded really quickly down here. Si, signore. trying. This pilot done, cool. Wow, lots of naval engagements going on. We're about to sink a battleship, that's nice. India's bringing in a lot of troops over here, but they now have a uh, two-front war. So India, I think, might actually just be a matter of time. The real question is going to be up here. You're going in for Baku right now, which is awesome. I do not want you attacking up here. I don't care about that. I just want the oil fields. Bulgaria joined us. Good. I had meant to keep an eye on Bulgaria and I kind of forgot. Last land doctrine. 
Also, we need to make sure that we actually fortify. That's that's a big deal. <laughs> Hold it, please. You move there. Go. Do not retreat from that position. All of the oil is right there. Okay. This is good. Um. Pronto. Frankly, the tanks can now stop because you have achieved every single one of your objectives. And the Germans are coming in to help fortify. I think actually, with hindsight, it was probably a good thing that I opened up a second border against the Soviets and India. My taking Iran there was kind of important. <laughs> And American submarines continue to die in droves. So how is the naval war looking? Uh, America has about 390 or 290 ships. Japan has got about 250. I would say right now Japan's got the upper hand. I am losing the odd submarine, but it's really not awful. And actually I'm thinking I'm going to cancel you. We'll finish off this destroyer, and then we're going to just start producing submarines. Because winning the War of the Atlantic is now a pretty high priority. Let's see if I can actually get any convoys in through here. I'm not convinced. We shall see. Pronto, signore. Okay, tanks, your goal is now to just fortify until troops can arrive to hold those positions. Si, signore. And at that point, I'm actually going to make it your job to push through these Caucasus Mountains because I want to hold the Soviets in the mountains. I don't want them attacking me into the plains. That would actually be bad for us. I just want a little bit more space around my new oil fields. And yeah, I do need to send some oil to my allies. Oh, Germany. Although they're getting 20% of my oil and they can buy whatever else they need. It would be quite nice to be able to see how they are doing for oil. Because we are export, we we have 61 available, five still available for export. Um, Caucasus oil. I'm guessing that a bunch of it is damaged. Uh, no, not really. Carrier effort is done. Let's just check on this. Yeah, we are sinking a lot of convoys, which is good. Jet engines, naval air effort, Atlantic fleet, and then we can get the marines and landing craft. Once we've broken out of the British cage, we'll need a project. We will need to project our power across the oceans. This must be our first priority. 